Hey everybody, Eric here. And today I wanna to share with you my process for automating the setup and saving of sections to scenes. So I guess you might be thinking, what is there to automate? I've set up a section and I've saved it to a scene before, but what if you're doing, you have standard sections that you do every time. So if you think about it, I do one where I cut into a building or a house and you have one that looks north and then west and then south, and then you have a plan view. And every time you do a house, you're gonna to need to cut those same sections. Well, it takes a little bit of time to basically get each section added, activated, saved to a scene. Well, I'm gonna show you how to automate that process by first setting it up and then saving it to a template. So let's get to it. So I've got a placeholder house here. Uh, it doesn't look like a house, but that's okay. It's just basically a note to myself so that I know which direction that I'm facing. Because um, when I cut a section and then I align to that section, I may not know exactly which direction. So anyway, that's just my cheat sheet. You don't need this to do this process. Um, either an existing project or even just a simple cube uh, to start this out would work fine. So let's add some sections. I'm gonna come up over here to Tools, Section Plane, and I'll place my first one. I can, if I wanted to move it in so that I'm cutting through the walls, I can. That's not really important at this point because this is a placeholder. And I know that each house or each project that I come in, that I bring into this template is going to change. So I'm not too, too worried about that. Let me just copy that over, save myself some time by giving it 90 degree rotation and times three. So that way I've got three sections already in my model. And they're all facing the right direction. As I said before, if you want to change, you got to activate. You gotta come over here and either double click uh, or you can come over here and right click on a section and say active cut. So however you wanna do it. Now, when we save these to scenes in just a minute, you'll notice that it can, we have to tell which one we want to activate um, first. Let me add one more section plane before I do that. I'm gonna come over here and add one more, but this time facing down. And this is my plan view section plane. So now I've got, um, a section facing in each direction and one facing down. So that was basically just the setup process. Now I'm going to set it to ca my camera to parallel projection. And then we're gonna go standard views top. And I'll just make this first one since it's already active. I'll just rename this and call it plan. And then, or you can call it top if you want. And then I'm gonna do the same process. I'll double click on this one. I will align that view by clicking my standard scene. And if you're gonna to go to layout, it doesn't really matter if you're zoomed in or not, because once you go to layout, you can set a scale there. So I'm gonna add another one. This is gonna be, I'm calling this south section. It's actually looking north. So maybe I should call this north. It's cutting through the south wall, but it's facing north. So that's why I'm gonna call that. Um, that's why I'm gonna call that that. So this will be my west one. Come over here, align view, add one. This is gonna be called, um, this is actually looking east. It's cutting through again the west side. That's why I put those little notes in there for me. Same thing, I'm gonna double click. I'm gonna align this view and add this one. This is looking south. So I'm gonna call that south. And I think if my math is correct, I need to do one more, which is west. Is that math or, geomet or geography? I don't, I don't know. It's both, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead and add that, rename that one, call that west. Now you can call these whatever you want. You don't have to do north, south, east, west. If your projects need certain elevations or sections cut, you can always just do whatever works for your project. But for me, I'm just gonna say I've got five sections cut. I'm gonna to toggle through them just to double check to make sure. Now I'm noticing here when I toggle through them that they're not showing, the sections aren't showing. If that's the case, you need to open up your scenes, uh, not your scenes, we'll do that in a second, styles. Under styles, if you click edit, you'll see that one thing you wanna do is make sure that section cuts is turned on in your style. So all that work, all that work that we just did, um, it's fine, but we, we wanna make sure that that is saved. Update that style. And when you go through them again, you can see that they're all there. Okay, so that's great. Now, last thing I wanna do is I don't wanna see the section planes. I just wanna see the cuts. So back in the styles again, you can turn off section planes unless you wanna see them. I don't really wanna see them. So I'm gonna turn that off. Double check that again. There they are. All my section cuts are there. Now here's the fun part. I'm gonna go ahead and save this, not save it as a file or as a copy, but save it as a template. Because all that work that I just did to add those section cuts 
and add those scenes and name them and change the styles. Well, I want to get my money's worth out of that effort, so I'm going to save it as a template. I'm just going to call this SketchUp to Layout. And the reason why I'm calling it that is because the assumption is that I'm setting up my sections to go to Layout so I can annotate them and set a scale to them. So there we go. Now you can see what it just did. It refreshed it. Basically means that it is from a template. So if I wanted to come over here and open that up again, then I'm going to choose New from Template. And if it gives me the option instead of default, I'm going to switch over to My Templates. And I should be able to say, see the template that I just saved, SketchUp to Layout. I'm going to click that one. And you know it's already on the screen because it already opened up. But there it is again. So now I know that's saved. I can use this every single time. All of my section cuts are all there. If I want to toggle on my section planes, I can see that they're there. Now I'm going to get rid of this placeholder here because now that, that was just to help me set the sections up. What I really want to do is work on my next project here, something that I'm working on. It's a little garage conversion. If you've taken our layout course on SketchUp Campus, uh, SketchUp to Layout, you might recognize this. So I'm going to pop over here to this template. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste that right in place. So this is a project that I'm working on. Let's say I finished the design and I'm ready to take it into construction documentation now. Well, all I have to do is just drag that house and pop it into this template. And you can see it's already cutting the section. So depending on where I want my sections cut, I may want to move the house. I also may, depending on the size of the house, I may want to make some adjustments to where we're cutting. But let's just for the sake of argument say that's OK. And uh, let's maybe push this one back a little bit. Again, it doesn't really matter. I would normally want to spend a little bit more time thinking about where I would want these sections to be cut. But this is just an example, so you get the idea. I'm going to move this section cut there. Now let's take a look. You can see if I go through my scenes, here's my plan view. And I think that one maybe is important that I push down. And I'll even push below the second floor loft so that I'm actually cutting into um, you know, the ground floor. So let's look at plan view. There it is. If I wanted to adjust the window, I can and update that. Super simple. The, my north section, my east section, my south section, and I'm going to get rid of Heather here, and my west section. So they're all set up for me and ready to go. So that's pretty cool. So no matter what I want to do, um, any project that I'm working on, all I have to do is open up this template. Here, I'll do it again, just really quick. I'm not going to do the whole process, but just come over here, new from template, pop over to my template, and this is my section cut template. So I just open that up, and I get a new blank file, and all I have to do is replace this little placeholder with whatever project I'm working on, and I'm set and ready to go. So that's it for my quick demo or my quick process on automating sections and scenes. So it's a bit tricky if you're brand new to SketchUp, if you've never worked with SketchUp uh, with scenes uh, before, or you've never saved sections to scenes before, it can be a bit tricky to make sure that the one you want is showing and active and saved. But once you get that right, that's the fun part, is saving it to the template. And then that way, you only have to do it the one time. And anytime you want, all you have to do from that point on is just adjust that section line. No more setup needed. So as always, I hope you found at least one thing useful in this video. And whether you did or didn't, let us know in the comments, because the, your comments and your feedback helps us make these videos uh, connect and relevant to you and your workflows. So I'll leave you there. I'll say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And um, we'll see you next time. Thanks.